I'll show you what this switch does in no. a second. Let's go! I'm about to end this man's whole career. Huh? I like it, KG. Champion, bro. You champion. You destroy my boat. I steal yours. He tried it. <laughs> Wait, he actually made it. Get out of seat. Hey, hey, chill, chill. My seat now. Fight! <laughs> Time to get out of here. Bruh. He disconnected. He left. <sighs> what a nice day to just relax. Go you try to flex the ugly boat. Never oh, mind. Yeah, I got He's much stupid. better ship. What is that? You're blocking my way. Oh, no, 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 so Nope. Prepared to die. Bro, I'm lagging! <laughs> I'm lagging! No, don't do it! <laughs> oh, wait, he switched teams? <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? He's gone. All no. right, guys. Now it's time for you to build your own hidden turret like the one you see on screen right now. So boot up Roblox, get your tools out, follow along each step, and if you come up with any questions or feedback huh? along the way, please feel free to type them down in the comments and I will respond to them as soon yeah, as possible. Bye. So we're going to make the container for our turret, so Let's it go. should be larger than the turret itself. That's, that's how containers work. You stupid. So I'll start with a platform and make it 1 stud thick, 12 studs long, and 8 studs wide. You can choose the size yourself if you want to. To make the walls, I will place a block in the corner, make it 1 stud thin, scale it along the platform, and make it tall enough for the turret to fit inside. So for me, that will be 9 studs tall. And I will kind of repeat this step for each side until we've got something like this. Now remember how the turret pops out of the ground? We do that using some pistons. So I'll place a piston in the center of the platform here pointing up. And I will place a block on top of it and make it one stud sick. Now you'll notice that when I unanchor this block with the scale, Bruh. when I unanchor the block with the screwdriver tool and click on the piston, this block sticks out beyond the walls and we do not want that. We want something like that. So edit your piston with the screwdriver tool and play around with the piston length property until you find something that works, which in my case happens to be 7.3. Once you're done, just anchor that block again and scale it into a second platform. Nice. But now it won't move because it is touching the walls. So set your scale tool scale to 0.1 and scale each side of the platform in once so that you get these teeny tiny gaps over here. Now just build your turret on top of this platform. Please don't bully me in the comments for this. Okay, so this is when we make the little secret door for the whole contraption. Okay. So with your trowel tool, just clone the second platform and bring it up here. Oh, it's not perfectly aligned, so I'll set my move scale to 0.1 and go ahead and fix that before making it 0.5 stud sick. Now we're going to place a servo in the corner just like this in order to be able to open and close the door. Equip your trowel tool, go to the move mode and set the scale to 0 because we need all the precision we can get. Move the servo down and make sure that the black part of the servo is only touching the door and the gray part is only touching the walls. So I'll have to kind of move this around a little bit. So now the black part is only touching the door. Once you've confirmed that, just move the servo a bit up. With your screwdriver, 
set the servos collision to off, transparency to 100%, torque to green, reverse rotation to on, and servo angle to 90. And you can also play around with the speed if you'd like. Before we check that everything is working fine, place down a switch, save the build, go to your screwdriver tool, select all and unanchor everything, and press the switch. That's pretty good! And something just like this should happen except I shouldn't be firing the huh? cannon. Yeah, remember to unlink the switch from the cannon itself, or any other weapon you decide to put on your turret. If something like this does not happen, Bruh. check for errors and feel free to ask me for help Jeez, down in the comments. Idiot. But if it does work, great! The hard part is over and the fun part has begun. We will reload the build and disguise the whole mechanism as something harmless. Now I will blend this into the terrain with some coal and grass, but honestly you can do it however you like. You can even put it on another build like I did with my yacht. And I'd love to hear about the creative ways you hide and disguise your own turret. And there we go, your hidden turret has now been completed. If you found this to be helpful, consider liking and subscribing for more content like this. And if you have any questions or suggestions, I would be glad to receive them in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a good one.